If you've used any of the Access 2010 web database templates, you've used a navigation form. In the Contacts web database, the main form is a navigation form. It contains a navigation control, which in turn contains several different forms and reports, and allows you to easily switch between them. In effect, putting a navigation control on a form turns the form into kind of a switchboard or home page for your database. This is particularly useful for web databases because the access navigation pane is not available in a web browser. The navigation control consists of a series of navigation buttons that resemble tabs and the object pane where the form or report is displayed. Let's build a navigation form from scratch to see how it's done. First I'll close the main form and then click the Create tab. I could start with a blank form and then add a navigation control to it, however Access provides a quicker way. I just click Navigation and then select the style of navigation control that I want. I think I'll stick with the standard horizontal tab configuration. Here's my new blank navigation form. I'll close the field list and open the navigation pane. On the first tab, I want to show the contact datasheet form. One way to add an object to a tab is just to type the object's name on the tab. I click the Add New tab to select it, and then click again to enter edit mode. Now I just type the object name and press enter. And there's our first tab. Now that the object is attached to the tab, I can rename the tab by clicking again and then typing the name I want. Another way to add an object to the navigation control is to drag it from the navigation pane to the row of tabs. Be sure to drag it up to the tab area. If you drag it to the object pane, Access won't create a new tab for the object. I can also add a blank tab by right-clicking in the tab area and then clicking Insert Navigation button. Then I can configure the new tab by setting the caption and navigation target name properties in the property sheet. If a caption doesn't quite fit, I can widen the navigation button a bit. And I can delete a tab by right-clicking it and then clicking Delete. This just deletes the tab, it does not delete the object that was displayed on the tab. Before I go any further, I'll click Save and accept the default name of Navigation Form. Now I think I'll change the label in the form header to Home. Also, I can change the caption of the form to whatever I want. I right-click the form, click Form Properties, and then I think I'll set the caption property to Contacts Database. This doesn't change the name of the form, just the caption that displays on the Document tab or the title bar of the form. I can also apply some formatting choices to this form if I want. For example, on the Design tab, I can select from pre-designed office themes that set the default colors and fonts for the entire database. I can just preview the themes by hovering over them and looking at the live preview underneath. For more detailed formatting of the navigation buttons, I can select a button or a group of buttons, and then on the Format tab, I can select from a variety of quick styles and shapes for each one. Now I'll save the form, switch to Form View, and see how it works. I want to make this the new default form that is displayed whenever I open the database. To do this, I go to Backstage View and click Options. I click Current Database, and then under Application Options, I select my Navigation Form as the Display Form, and also as the Web Display Form. The Web Display Form is an important setting if you plan to publish the database to SharePoint, because the Navigation Pane is not available in a browser. And after publishing the database to a SharePoint server, here's how it looks in a browser.